how smart people are largely depends on whether it pays to be. That is, you can have any opinion you want on global warming or evolution, and it'll have no effect on your life. But if you believe that uh, you know how to predict horse, horse racing, unless you do, you will discover you don't fairly quickly. Uh, and I think that's, that's a, a pretty common common pattern. There's some very, there's very interesting work by a professor at Yale Law School, Dan Kahan, on people's beliefs. And his argument is that when you have a issue that has become identified with group membership and evolutionary and obvious example, that people, what people believe depends much more on what group they identify with then then Andy argues this is rational behavior because after all whether I believe in evolution has no effect on the world on the other hand if I'm a university professor at University of Chicago or where I was SCU and I say I don't believe in evolution the people around me will think I'm nuts and they'll lower my their opinion of me if I'm in a small town where everybody's a fundamentalist Christian and I say I believe in evolution people are going to think maybe they should let me let my son date their daughter and, you know, uh, might not be a good person to rent a house to and so forth. You know, what kind of a nut am I? So it's in your, it's in your interest. And, and the neat thing that Khan actually, Kahan actually has, has evidence for is that it turns out that the more scientifically sophisticated people are, the more likely they are to agree with their group, whether that means believing in evolution or not believing in evolution. And the argument is that the more sophisticated you are, the better you can cr create arguments to persuade yourself to believe what's in your interest to believe. And I think that's a very, very common, common pattern. You can see it all over the place.